Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60 Six Day Challenge 9.0, and today is day 51. Today we're going to continue our training inside of our agent websites, and we're going to talk about adding content to your site. We're going to look at three pages that you can add to your agent website quickly and easily that can provide value to your clients. So let's jump in. We're going to go into our websites applet down here on the left hand side. We're going to make sure we're on the My Websites tab. Click on Edit Agent Site. We've spent a lot of time in sort of our um, easy bake edit mode, if you will, the simple editor here. Now we're going expert mode. So get ready. We're going to click on the expert mode here at the top right hand corner. And when this page first loads, it can be a little overwhelming. So I don't want that to be the case. Um, there's a lot of options in here, and I will say our agent sites have increased dramatically in the amount of customization and different things that we can add. So that's exciting, but this can be a little bit overwhelming. Just don't let it be. We're going to walk through it together. So right off the bat, just to take note at the top left hand corner here, if you click on this drop down, you do have the dashboard icon. This is important because anywhere we go from here, oftentimes we're going to want to come back to the dashboard. Just look for those three little lines. We call that a hamburger menu to come back to the dashboard. If there's ever a specific page or something you're looking for inside, whether it's an image, uh, a video, something you've done, you can see all the changes we've made recently to our agent site. You can always click on the search button and that will get you all the content that you've previously loaded. Uh, you can also click here if you have a team um, or you're on leadership, if you click where it says your name at the top and personal, you may have a team site that you can make edits to. If you're in leadership, you may even have a market center site you can make edits to. Uh, so just as a heads up, each one of those sites is considered unique. So if you have a team, you can make changes to your own personal site. If you're the rainmaker, you can make changes to the team site as well. So, whoops, didn't mean to click on that. Uh, here's our email address associated with our account. And then you do have a couple of help icons here with regards to more information about the actual expert mode editor. Uh, as we scroll down, you can see just an update that they've changed the name of custom pages to custom homepage. They've got a welcome message. We've got the link to our actual site. We chose this a few days back, so this is our URL. And then from there, you're going to see a quick start menu. Right? And you can see that we've got eight different templates. We're going to run through those templates today. And then below that, you'll see all of the pages that you have either created or were created for you. So today, we're going to look at three custom pages that can be easily added to your agent's site to set your site a little bit further apart from other agents and to provide value to the contacts and clients that land there. Those three, we're going to work backwards in our quick start templates. So the first one, pretty simple and easy one to add to your agent site. It's just a template about Kelly Williams and why people might work with you as a KW agent. So if I click on this template, you're going to see it opens up the new custom page menu and it automatically brings in the entire article with the page title. You can see why Keller Williams. You can see the page header, right? And we've got that page header, which is basically just kind of a gray box. Now, if you had an image you wanted to drop behind that gray, behind the Y. Keller Williams, you could certainly do so by uploading a file if you wanted to. Um, and then from there, that's really all the content because next up, you've got the actual rich text, which is all of these paragraphs here. Now, if for any reason you see something and you're like, hey, uh, I want to change that, I want to address that. Like personally, I think there's a lot of white space between these paragraphs, so I'm just going to come in I'm going to delete a little bit of that white space. All right, so I want those paragraphs to be a little bit closer to one another. Scrolling down inside of the editor, just getting rid of a little bit of white space. Oops. All right, so I went too far. I messed up the win, win, or no deal. So inside of this editor, I can click on the arrow pointing backwards, and that's going to be the undo button, which is going to get that back to where I would like it to be. I can come down to the bottom. I think we can probably take off that white space a little bit. And there we go. So I've made edits to the content, but I didn't have to write anything. I didn't have to create anything. 
literally we are good to go with that actual rich text module or that big paragraph of text. And then you can see below that is gonna be by default the contact agent form. And you can see what that looks like down here at the bottom. So if you're good with everything that's included in that why work with the Keller Williams agent paragraph, if you're good with the header, you're not gonna add any images, you're not gonna make any additional changes to the text, all you would have to do from that point would be click on publish. We're gonna to go to the agent site and I'm gonna show you where that page shows up. Now we've published it, but you can see we're still in the editor. We've got two options here to go back to that start screen or dashboard. We can click on return to dashboard, or again, click on the three lines and click on dashboard. Either way, it'll get us back to the starting point that we were at when we started expert mode. We can now go to our site just to check it out. And you're like, okay, I added that page, where is it? These three templates that we're adding are all gonna be underneath the more button. So you can see we just added Y Keller Williams as a custom page to our site. We can click on it and then you can get an idea of what that page actually looks like on your agent site. So that's custom page template number one, Y Keller Williams. Let's go back to our dish dashboard, excuse me. We've got a home valuation template as well. And as you can imagine, also a pretty simple ad. So I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna bring up the page title. It's got the description, right? Then it's got the home value search component. And then you're pretty much set and ready to go. So essentially all they're gonna have to do is put in their home address, Right? And then on the next page, they'll put in their contact information. Let's actually just walk through it together. So I don't have to change anything about this. If for any reason you wanted to change either the header or the subheader, you could. But I think right now we're pretty good. I'm just gonna publish this one. So I'm gonna click on publish. It's gonna take me back to the editor. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard by clicking on return to dashboard. I'm gonna click on my website link again to see what that looks like. And remember, when we're adding these custom pages, it's underneath the more. Uh, let's do a quick refresh and see if we can get that to show back up. So we're gonna refresh, more. Oh, just kidding. It's probably, well, let me see. There it goes, home valuation. Just took a second to show up. So we're gonna click on home valuation. And now we would basically come in as the consumer, just so you can see what this process looks like. I'm gonna put in an actual address. I'm gonna select an address and I'm gonna say, let's go. From there, it asks me to put in my information. So I'm gonna put in my information. All right, this is my personal information. And I'm gonna click the checkbox that says, hey, I'm good with the terms of use. I'm gonna click the checkbox, hey, I'm good with an agent contacting me. So this is a great kind of CYA tool as an agent, right? When your consumers are filling out this form, they do have to click the boxes in order to give you permission to reach out. And then I'm gonna click on get my valuation. And you can see it does provide me with an automated valuation between 375 and 382 for this property. Then you can say, hey, connect with, and this is KW Premier, this would have your name, right? More information hey, I'm interested in the value of the property, they can click on send message, and then it'll say KW Premier will reach out shortly, please check your email for a response. I'm gonna click on close. Now, when that happened, I received an email, right? And here you can see what that email looks like, new lead received, and you can tell it's from home valuation site. So that's number one. Number two, if we go back to command, I'm gonna close this window out and you can see we've got a new notification, home valuation request, Marty Miller requested a home valuation. The reported range was 374. Just know that's 374,000. But I can click on view contact and it's actually gonna open up the contact record of the lead that just asked for the home valuation. And you can see the reported range, the address, the phone number, the email, I've captured all of the information around that lead. So this is a really powerful page to add to your website. Um, I might even recommend you create links or QR codes, or this would be a great thing to hand out at open houses, networking events, neighborhood events, anything along those lines. So that was a quick and easy ad for the home valuation template. We've now added two custom pages. Let's go for one more 
we're going to add in the mortgage calculator page. And you can see on this one, we've got the page title and then the description and then the actual HTML embed of the mortgage calculator. And we've got our default contact us at the very bottom here. Now this is actually driven by mortgagecalculator.org. The home valuation tool, I do get a lot of questions around who's providing that value. Um, I'm not sure if KBRI has shared that with us yet, but I found it to be relatively accurate, just as kind of a heads up and an aside. So mortgage calculator looks good. Now the difference between <clears throat> these two templates that we're adding, the mortgage calculator, if a consumer uses the mortgage calculator, that is not a lead capture form. They are just playing with that till their heart's content and you'll never know about it. You don't actually capture anyone's information from the mortgage calculator page, but it's still a page that could provide value to your clients, right? As something in addition to everything else you have on your page, one more additional opportunity. And this one really more driven towards the buyer side, whereas the home valuation is driven more towards the seller side. So two options again, We've now going to return to the dashboard. Let's go back to our agent site one more time. We're gonna close this one out. We're gonna make sure this one is refreshed. We're gonna click on our more dropdown and now you can see we've got our YKW page. We've got our home valuation page and we now have the mortgage calculator page. So three simple and easy custom pages that we just added to our site and we're gonna give this a second to load. It's pulling over from that site. There it goes, now it's loaded. And you can see the consumer can come in here and play with any of these values and then get detailed information that spits it back out. Um, and you can put in a variety of different factors as well. So coming back to command inside of our expert mode of agent sites, the last template that we could do, download my app, that one's also pretty straightforward. I wasn't planning on showing it to you, but since it's so simple and easy, we're gonna do it, because that's it. It's literally this, right? You've got to download my app, download my app module, ready to go. There's no page header. We're gonna click on publish. The only thing I see is that that QR code did not show up. So we're gonna take, there it is, now it showed up. Awesome. All right, so last time, return to dashboard. We're gonna click on our website. We're going to close out the old page. We're going to look at the new page. We're going to click on more and we're going to give it a quick refresh to get the download my app page to show up. And let's make sure that that is there. It is page download my app. So it may just take a second to update actually inside of your uh, website to get that to show up in the menu. I believe that that will probably show up here in a second. Um, but to save you time, I'm not going to sit here and wait for it. Just trust that most likely by tomorrow, when I show you that video, we'll have the download my app page loaded as well. Tomorrow, we're going to continue our training inside of the agent site app. We're going to look at some additional pages and some additional content that can be added. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.